Hey music people, I have a new instrument that I want to share with you. Um, the part one of this video was the unboxing and that was just kind of me being excited about uh, getting a new horn. Um, and so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the horn and play a little bit from the uh, Koprosh book uh, so you can hear how it sounds. And then in part three and part four, uh, you'll see that I did a uh, quartet version of the Coventry Carol for four of these horns. And then I did uh, another version where I took that quartet and put it in the middle of a nine grid uh, multi-track video where I had the same four parts being played on French horn and then also um, the same four parts being played an octave lower on French horn, which I love doing. Um, so yeah, today I got a Donald E. Getson um, made by Wilson alto flugelhorn. So this horn is in F. Um, it's got quite a substantial bell and it's uh, somewhere in between the sound of um, my tenor horn and a true British baritone and I like it. It's it's a heavy horn. The, it's got thick walls. Uh, this is a horn that was kind of designed in the 80s um, when everyone was racing to make the better mellophone. So this is, uh, instead of traditional mellophones that kind of stay narrow bore up through here and then they flare out to almost twice the amount of bell size, um, this one uh, maintains kind of the flugelhorn bell profile and it uses quite a big mouthpiece. This is a mouthpiece from one of my tenor horns and it is uh, a little bit big for me to play on this horn and all the ranges. It's, it's kind of my low horn mouthpiece when I play tenor. Um, but yeah, this horn's in F rather than E flat. So it gives it a little bit different characteristic. I think it's got a nice smoky sound in the low range and, um, and I'm, I'm working it out. This is day one. Um, so I'll play you um, through a couple of scales just so you can hear the different ranges of the instrument. Then I'll play uh, number 10 out of the Koprosh book, and then I'll play part of uh, number 15 so you get the lyric side of it. So here's uh, just a standard C scale in the staff. <laughs> G scale, so you get the lowest range. And here's F and G in the staff. So a pretty Pretty interesting horn throughout, um, so I'll play a little bit for you, and um, hopefully you'll check out my video where uh, I have the quartet. Here's Koprosh 10. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, unlike some alto brass, like the uh, the Khan E-flat alto trumpet that I have, um, this one plays pretty full in the low range. The alto trumpet kind of pans out and doesn't have a real great low range, even though it's an alto instrument. 
Um, this one I can play real low and real soft and controlled. pedal range. All right, so I'm going to move over to some of uh, Koprash number um, 15 now and show you some of some more lyrical things. <laughs> So there, um, yeah, so this horn has some of the same problems that uh, most flugel horns, or not most flugel horns, most uh, mellophones and alto brass have, which is that the open notes aren't in tune with each other very well, um, and that the second valve is just a little bit long in the key of C printed, key of C, but it works out well when you're in the key of F and the key of G, um, because of where it is in the scale. Um, and uh, some of that is uh, with the um, open note tuning does uh, have to do with the mouthpiece. So again, this is day one for me on this horn, trying out the big Alliance mouthpiece that came with my tenor horn. I've got a Vincent Bach tenor mouthpiece. I've got a uh, uh, Heritage uh, um, Dennis Wick uh, 4 that I use for when I play solo tenor horns. So I might borrow that and play that on this. Um, I don't know what's going to do to my low range, but the high range probably will feel a little bit better. Um, so yeah, um, this is kind of a flugelhorn, kind of a mellophone, um, and a whole lot of fun to play. So yeah, hopefully you'll uh, watch the other videos and have a great day.